It's time. Bye, 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 bye. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to an emergency episode of the Pantels Podcast. <laughs> Clearly, the rumors of my death were greatly exaggerated. Right? I had the flu, the regular flu, apparently, not uh, the coronavirus. So I'm here, Poseidon's queer. Get used to it. We're going to do some stuff today. I want to remind you guys that many of my shows uh, have been canceled. Uh, about a month's worth of live <laughs> events have been canceled. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to send China the bill. I'm going to send the communist yeah. regime of China the bill. Uh, they got to pay me back. Uh, with me for this emergency broadcast is obviously Poseidon. And if they don't pay up, you're going to send me to collect. Right. So you're getting no money. I'm not getting anything from them <laughs> if I just send Poseidon. And obviously, since we're supposed to do the Southern Boys today and we can't because of the coronavirus, right. we have Massimo in studio. Hello. Massimo, thank you for taking the plunge here, not knowing if we're sick or not. And Yeah, I'm uh, yeah, taking a big chance. <laughs> Guido Grasso, Wait. who is so short, uh, the camera can't catch him, but yeah, he's yeah. putting Purell. What's funny is you look... Like like a young child hey, I, I hear you who was at the it. street corner selling newspapers in you the nineteen thirties. Extra, extra, the Poseidon, the Poseidon, and the Corona is here. Oh, tell you, you know, I'm sorry uh, about him. Ex- your, uh, extra, extra, the papers, the kid. Just remind, I was watching a little bit of a uh, Martin Scorsese <laughs> uh, documentary they made with his parents. And yeah. It's called uh, Italian American. But here's a part where the dad's talking about back in the day what he used to do for money. He goes, you know, uh, you know, he used to go down to the, uh, used to go down to the deli and have a kanish with a coffee. It was a dime, a dime. He goes, you know, there was nothing to do. We had no radio, no TV. Sometimes, you know, you get a paper, you read the paper. You know, as a kid in the corner, you know, uh, extra, extra, the paper. You buy the paper, you open the paper. There's nothing in the fucking paper. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was just so. Funny. It's just him. It, it's that, him that, in a few that, years. That, that that man, Scorsese's father, was actually the man in jail in the scene in Goodfellas making the sauce. Yeah. That's Scorsese's mm-hmm. father. Okay, listen, we're gonna. How do we? Get, how do we give me a phone book? I can. I'm sit not on. gonna give you a phone Are book. You I'll get to the side. Uh, do, do you want to help him out? Do you want to put his camera pointed a bit lower? You know what I mean? His, because look at him. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I, like I, just, I feel bad for the him. Army <laughs> just, just help, on, just help him out. Just help Wait, him out. Wait, let me. I'm gonna go right to him so we can see him move. No, no, you don't need to. Uh, there it is. There. How yeah. do you feel now? Oh, you feel I better? Breathe. I can breathe. I don't have to yeah. clench my anus. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do, you, how do you like this uh, Paulie from Rocky hat? I think you look stupid, but that's not yeah. much of a change from D- usual. Tell me that's not Mid- good casting, though. Uh, if they made Rocky again and they needed somebody to play Paulie, right. I know how to cast I myself. I think that, that hat is called midlife crisis. You've already <laughs> derailed our conversation, <laughs> all right? and you've already started talking about Scorsese and stupid shit that you always like talking about. I'm Italian. What do you Listen want me to, to talk me. about? My well, like to be fair, here, I did start up the Scorsese We're thing, here to talk about then it just serious topics, right? We've right. had to cancel all kinds of shit. Uh, Two Drink Minimum Live was canceled this Sunday. Uh, what about the, live, the, the compound show, the com- comedians of the compound? Well, Mike had to cancel his trip yesterday. Mike couldn't go down because right. oh. they put those stupid regulations where when you come back, they're going to put you in quarantine. Right, Mike said, fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and I can't go to the States? Dude, the fact that they don't quarantine you already is shocking. So go. You're yeah, clearly yeah, lucky. Yeah. So all that stuff's happening right now. We really don't know the capa- Like, look, from what I understand, if you're young and able, you look, right. you look nervous. What's the matter? No, I was trying to look... Um, what is there need? a volume control for these uh, speakers? Somewhere? Is it too low for you? No, it's just blasting my ears right oh. now. What? <laughs> oh, you're a <laughs> fucking cunt. What the fuck is happening to you? Dude, can you shut the fuck up, dude? People yeah, are listening to this. Yeah. What the fuck's wrong with you? I, as long as I make my uh, oh, side and laugh. Is that better? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> okay. I'm nice. not laughing yeah. with Bring you. Bring it even another notch. Another notch. Lower? Down. Yeah, another notch. Down. Somebody's got to be a go. comic relief. I'm oh, laughing because he's nice. going to beat the shit yeah, out of you. bro. You fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> You're literally the guest I get the most fucking complaints about, and you fucking continue doing this to people. Do you get, does does he really a lie on the live? They fucking get super pissed off because he does stupid shit like Bro, this. Bro, you got to see. You know, on, I read some uh, comments because you know I was I go hey, let me see what people like uh, yeah. if they like me. Uh, I only saw one negative uh, thing last yeah, time. Yeah, over, overwhelming. One, one guy wrote. Maybe there's more. I didn't see them, but when I read it, there was just one guy who wrote. Uh, uh, I feel like the episode would have been better if Massimo wasn't there, and then he put <laughs> this emoji like this with the fucking hands up. But like, I don't know. Okay, that's and one guy. Was, but, uh, yeah, did nah. his name rhyme with Milver and Mold? No, no, it's not the same guy that doesn't like you. <laughs> uh, this, there's a guy silver and gold that hates me. It's not just him. You're making it every. You're making everyone hate you because imagine now people are like, okay, I'm stuck at home. Nobody wants to go out because the whole coronavirus. Let right. put on the live stream And then you're fucking yelling into their speakers right. Like you're okay. nine years old What are you doing? That's crazy Poseidon doesn't even pull that shit And yeah. he's cle- he has a mental deficiency <laughs> <laughs> Okay I do. <laughs> I'm like eight right now I will talk Yeah Okay no, I, But so what are these comments that are said about Oh they're, they're rough 
The rough. The, Some, I'm very. One he, time he actually got sleep depressed. How much did you lose over those comments? Yeah, he I lost know. sleep. Oh, like, cause oh, I, yeah. I do get like when I see negative, I do get bothered by it. But I'm a kind of person. I, I read it. And I go, what the fuck? And I'm like, ah, hey, whatever. And I move on. But I, but I know you will like lay in your fucking I, bed. I, 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 I will tell you one thing. I guarantee this is going to be the last time that Guido's on any of my podcasts. <laughs> I guarantee you that. Uh, well, if that's what you wish, you know. <laughs> no, I, it's I, not I, what I wish. Just, it's I go with the will of the people. I, um, I've been. You know when you you pl- you're playing a part. I don't want to. Oh, accept. shut the fuck up! You're not playing a part. I know I'm, you. This is I'm you every day. A I'm part. being me. I'm being me. Um, uh, speaking of which, um, laying in bed all day when you get bad news and shit like that. Uh, right. Have you seen the Artie Lang update? No. Okay. Is Artie, he okay? Artie. Uh, oh, I did. I Artie, saw. Artie, I follow him on Instagram. Yeah, he yeah. posted an Instagram <laughs> picture. He goes, "If anybody's wondering where I've been, I've just had a lot of anxiety and I've been." St- Staying in because because he put the camera so low because he's so short he's kneeling in front so his bl- his head is blocking bl- your face <laughs> okay okay here how about this so You're Artie awesome. Artie has uh, is uh, and I totally relate and that's why he said how much sleep did you because Artie doesn't have drugs to take to so he has to cope with his feelings now right so he's just been at home in, uh, apparently in I I I, I, I understand that but on the opposite spec because I still take drugs Bro, I'm already gonna so cry because of the first five feelings. minutes of this co- podcast I'm not gonna sleep tonight. Why? Because of the, the comments? Because I really am taking it personally that it's the last time I'm going to be here. And I'm like, oh. dude, you, I, I made a comment about how low, and then you yelled into my Yeah, yeah, that, that's bro. a dick Yes, move. that's funny. People. And the thing is, I, I'm the one who edits the episodes that we do. My ears are very important, bro. I need to hear. So properly. here's the thing. You got to remember when you're doing these podcasts. <laughs> like he's dying look, look, more with, with these microphones. <laughs> This I'm, not, I'm not saying it to be a fucking dick. Look, I'm just hey guys, telling you because you let need let to know. Something. Remember these, important. Remember these two rules for podcasting. Number one, the microphone, the three finger rule. If you're three fingers away, that's the best place well, to get the best sound. Okay, you, three it's finger. either you're fucking super far away or you scream into the microphone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah last I remember when we, we started. <laughs> when we started the. When the when we started doing the, the, the podcast, I still was telling, I go, bro, could you just stand a normal, like either he would be, like you said, too far away or he was eating the microphone. Yeah. It was just, eating the microphone. it was either he doesn't like stop. this or, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I, I go, you're just killing my fucking eardrums right now. You know, now. the best part is he's, he wants to make it in the entertainment business, a business, <laughs> a business where in order to make it, you have to at least be liked by some people. Mm. And he's like, how the fuck can I become more unlikable? May yeah. I, may I add something? I you have the worst, bi- I, I, like, honestly, look, I know we're talking about serious topics here i hope you get the coronavirus and you don't make it that's <laughs> oh, how i feel I've, right now. i've wow. noticed something in my social media posts yeah i post about um come and see us at our show yeah um yeah. Uh, a lot of people like a lot of people like right uh i post some people ask are you gonna with, be on <laughs> i post me with a pizza in in front of an oven right. it goes through the roof yeah because yeah. like people finally all of a sudden he made a good he's, career he's, decision he's, he's where he's supposed to be <laughs> yeah. i noticed that all these people that have never liked anything tara I'm calling out Tara Kenneth Tracy. Southern boys, Southern boys, Southern boys. No likes. Guido with a pizza. Love yeah, Tara right. Kenneth Tracy. She's like, there's no way I could tell him, but the fact that he's clearly moving oh, around right his own. Is, yeah. Like, am I, am I missing keep, a hint? Keep moving them. Yeah, pies. you're missing a hint. People have told you on my live stream. Yeah. Die. No, but, <laughs> you know, but you know what it is? It's Jesus just Christ. because you don't. Um, not to be all like uh, Johnny fucking Come life a coach. To me. Come a you don't. Closer. You don't no, I'm love. Scared. No, no, a little closer. You you're in, the, in in frame, so you're in the middle. Uh, no, you don't have to move back. It's just you don't. Him. Um, you don't love yourself enough. Yeah, love yourself a bit. You have Respect to love yourself. yourself. You don't love yourself, and before people can love you, you have to love ah. yourself. Life Yo, is beautiful, bro. Pos- Poseidon, yeah. you, I ah. sent you that video. Look at Poseidon. Everybody loves him. And I well, well, that's debatable. That's questionable. <laughs> but, no, but, but you know what they but you love? love? You love yourself. You yeah, love yourself. yeah he does love you're, himself. You're very comfortable in your own skin. My Definitely. brother, uh, God rest his soul, he passed away. My, my middle brother, uh, my brother Tony, uh, he was so comfortable in his skin. He didn't give a shit. And when I, 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 be ha- when, I used to, when I used to be hanging out with him, he used to like, j- I used to feel embarrassed because I'm like, oh, he's acting like an idiot, whatever. I remember one night he was making all these stupid fucking jokes. He's, there's comedians. Uh, and he's like, let me tell you a joke. I'm like, bro, don't tell them fucking jo- they're comedians. And I don't like let them. And he tells you, everybody's fucking laughing. Yeah, and I like that. Even, and not even like a polite, like, like they're actually laughing at his fucking stupid joke. And at one point, he stops, he goes, excuse me, he had to go to the bathroom. He goes, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm just going to go uh, leak the lizard. And as he's walking away, I'm like, did he, Who just, says- fuck, did he just fucking say, I'm going to go leak <laughs> the lizard? I love that. And then as he's walking away, everybody turns to me like, oh my God, your brother's so funny. I'm like, fuck you. First of all, my brother used to get all kinds of pussy. So I'm like, no, my brother can be the guy, the brother who gets all the pussy. And is, and the is also one. the, f- I'm the fucking funny one. All right. But yeah. But did he you, actually did, learned, you, learned, did you kill him for this? 
<laughs> tell, them, tell them about your brother with the Frenchman in uh, when you when the Frenchman was in the he restaurant and trying to speak. Oh, thank oh, God, there's a French guy here who speaks French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We because uh, my brother was working uh, at one point under the table in the United States. I guess I can talk about it because he's dead now. But uh, <laughs> he was working in the states doing construction, mm -hmm. and uh, there was this uh, French Canadian guy, and um, he spoke very, very little English, right? And then so he gets there, and then. Uh, I don't know if he asked him where you're from or over here's my brother said. But anyway, he goes, oh, you're from Montreal. He goes, oh, finally, somebody I can talk to in French. He goes, oh, bro, bro, my whole life, I go in Montreal. They told me over here it's Quebec. You have to speak French. Now you're in uh, you're in the States. Bro, they speak English here, <laughs> right? He goes, I'm not talking to you in French. And, he, and my, brother, just, and my brother knew how to speak fucking French. Like, yeah. I'm not talking to you in French, bro. We're in the States now. Speak English. That's the, you know? And then whenever he used to go to a restaurant, because he didn't, he didn't fucking know... And he, they would get to the restaurant. He opened up the, the menu of the French dude, and he'd be like, uh, "Hey, uh, Tony." Uh, he goes, uh, "Can you?" And he says to him in French, "He goes, um, can you I, translate?" He goes, "Can you like, you know, tell me what it is, or you know, order for me?" He goes, "No, bro. You know what? You had the opportunity to learn English in fucking Montreal. You didn't let." He goes, "Fucking starve, right?" And what? <laughs> and every that the guy basically Amazing. ate whatever my brother ordered. My brother would be like, "Yeah, I'll take uh, a steak." With some uh, you know grilled uh, vegetables, and, he was like, and the guy because he had very little English, but he knew how to say same thing. So whatever my brother ordered, it's what. And this guy had fucking like dentures or something, and he same he thing. He couldn't fucking eat the steak. No, because my brother would order oh, his steak shit. that's balls fucking uh, raw basically. <laughs> so he'd be like, "Give me a fucking steak, you know, fucking blue, blue order, yeah, blue." And he's like, uh, "The guy same thing," and he gets there, he's like, "Ah, cow, yes, <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, no, that's a good. The he's guy, a good the guy friend, was yeah. there for two months. He ate. Exactly what my brother ate at every fucking restaurant. I, I respect a good ball buster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, That's confident. amazing. My yeah, brother, my brother was also a little bit of a half a head. He, he, that same guy when they were working because they always unplug, like he would have like you know his drill or whatever plugged into an extension. And, you know, like you know in construction, you bring your own extension, all that. That's yours. You plug it in, and he would always unplug his thing to plug something in and never plug it back. And he goes, bro. He goes, next time you fucking unplug my extension. And you know, plug back my fucking thing. He goes, I'm gonna take this, you know, the, the hammer for a drywall. Yeah. There's like an axe on the other side. It's like a hammer. Then one side has an axe. He goes, I swear to God, I'm gonna take this fucking thing and I'm gonna fucking throw it at you. He Shit. goes, okay, calm down, whatever. And then he went to grab the fucking thing and he didn't fucking, as he was unplugging it, because like, he told him, don't touch it anymore. As he's about to unplug it, he fucking Tommy Hawked the fucking <laughs> hammer at his fucking hand. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Christ. He goes, what the fuck? And he pulled back. He goes, what the fuck? He goes, you could have took my hand off. He goes, I fucking missed. You know what I mean? Like, Ma yeah, yeah. Massimo he was a mental case, my brother. My Ma brother was Ma Massimo case. came to Sapori uh, years ago to make sausage. He was going to make. You were going to make your own sausages? You? I, I, I grew make up a butcher, butcher family. My dad was a butcher. Oh, yeah, sure, you know how to do that. So yeah, he yeah. came and uh, he goes, wow. And we, we made it with beautiful casings, everything. And uh, he goes, yeah, it's nice here. It's a little different from uh, when I was uh, growing up in the butcher shop. It was always like, uh, this is what I heard. But you want to. <laughs> and your brother's yeah. yelling. And, and just people yell, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's but I didn't story, want to scream in the mic. story wasn't funny. didn't go anywhere. you had to be there. I hate you all. Because the, right. the punchline to that story was the him yelling, yelling yeah. but Guido didn't know that he, when you yell, he, you can just yeah. pull back from the microphone. Apparently you can. Yeah. So Poseidon, I was asking you before, but then yeah. he jumped in and, Are you okay, and buddy? interrupted. Yeah. You seem like you're dying. I sent right you a video. I'm actually good. Thank I God. Said, he's going to get better. He's going to recover. <laughs> no, but I sent him a video. I don't know if he showed it to you before we started. I asked him to show it to you in Code yeah, Oh, yeah. Code yeah. Code yeah. Was somebody, being, oh. somebody was being quarantined, taken out. I guess he was in the late stages and they were right. trying to resuscitate him. They all had the hazmat suits. He was in the street and they were going crazy trying to, I guess, get him back to life. Yesterday. Wow. Yeah, it's fun. I don't know how widespread it is. I don't know if we're panicking over nothing. Yeah. What I still don't get is that it took that uh, those comments from the premier of Quebec to have everybody go fucking nuts. Because yesterday morning, I went to get blood tests, and I passed by the uh, grocery store just to get paper towels, regular paper towels, just right. one, like two things. I should have got more stuff. I didn't know that it was going to go crazy later. Because later in the day, at night, apparently. It was an hour wait today at Max. Everyone went fucking nuts. Yeah. Everyone was oh, yeah, today, yeah. the same thing. I'm going to try yeah. to get some stuff tonight on my way home. Yeah, I went, I went, I went to Maxi. There was no more you know, sliced bread, whatever. Every There was nothing. No hot dog buns. Nothing. All, every 24-hour metro on Code Everything Dinesh. that was bread. And this is Maxi. There's like you know two, 300 loaves of fucking bread all gone. You? Yeah, I went to Provigo. I was missing a lot of stuff also. Like the basic stuff. Like uh, there was no more toilet paper, no more paper towels, no more water. Uh, I have a, fr a, a friend who missing. did all this shopping three weeks ago. He's like, I got food for three yeah. months. He, well, look, he made himself like a panic room. But, but I understand, guys. It's a little bit crazy because if you don't have yeah. the virus... What, you're going to call work and be like, I'm not coming for a month? And they're like, yeah, that's cool. We're still going to pay you. 
<laughs> yeah, this, yeah, for but sure. This is going to fuck up the global economy. <clears throat> yeah. Two things I want to say. Number one, God damn it, Trump had a point. Mm. When Trump said he wanted to have a trade war with China and everybody was mad at him, he's mm-hmm. like, no, we yeah. should manufacture stuff here. Well, now yeah. China's fucking the states over because there was those, um, those surgical masks, masks that people are wearing that right. they needed in the states what now. What do you think makes them? <laughs> well, it's an American company, but they make them now in China, right? right? Yeah, like so they had a yeah. whole shipment coming in. And China, even though it's American products, they stopped them. They go, no, 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 these are staying here because we need them. Mm-hmm. They go, yeah. we decide. It's a fucking communist right. regime. They don't give a shit about you. So he was fucking right. You do need to manufacture, especially important things, medical supplies in your own fucking right. country if you can. Uh, I don't know. Let's not to sound like Johnny Conspiracy over <laughs> here, but uh, I think uh, it was all uh, designed so they can sell the vaccine. You know what I mean? You think? What? Because it How many kill you. billions of... Uh, but if you find out tomorrow there's a shot you can take, it's uh, 50 bucks. Yeah. You're not going to spend 50 bucks. Uh, that's a terrible uh, story. Yeah? No, no. That was a terrible my, thought. My, 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 dad, my dad said that uh, this, wait, is, this wait. is the oh, elite. The, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. He Illuminati. He told me this Illum- 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 dad, the said, famous, the great inventor of two drink minimum. He said this, uh, <laughs> this is the elites uh, testing people's reactions and time reaction, how fast they react to... Uh, uh, global uh, global situation. Yeah, is he wrong? Really? Did he put it that way? Because that makes no sense. But that's how we said. That's that exactly wrong? how we said it. Like then I believe he put it that way. <laughs> no, that's exactly how we said. <laughs> it. I don't know, man. I, Which I, I think, looked at him. And I was you know, like, but you know what it is too is everybody's you know like you know like when I went to the store today, a lot of things were empty. Yeah. But I think it's just because you know, like you said, like you can't just like not go to work. But I think a lot of people who ever has the choice to stay at home. They don't want to go out, so yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It's not because we're not going to run out of shit. It's just that people are going there instead of buying two loaves of bread, they're going to buy fucking ten because yeah. they don't want to leave the house for like two weeks. But because they all go at the same time, it causes all this traffic. No. Yeah, but this is going to affect. No, no joke. I think a lot of people might if they if we get a lot of people sick at the same time. Right. A lot of people are going to go fucking broke because mm. the majority of people live paycheck to paycheck. No. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it, it, there's going to be a, life. That's yeah, but there's the gonna government's going to give a handout. There's a certain point. Well, how much money does the government have to give out? Because there's going to be a certain point where we're going to reach where wherever job you work for, they be like, look, uh, I need someone else. You haven't been here in a month. Do you know what I mean? Or yeah. s- certain businesses can't function. You know, remember here when all the restaurants, they were doing the construction on like Prince Arthur? The government yeah, right. said they were oh, going to yeah. do handles, but they never gave anything. So because of all that construction, they lost all the walking traffic and right. they all closed down. Oh yeah, there's all kinds That's of business. millions of yeah. dollars of revenue that they lost. Right, uh, the the block like they lost in taxes, all that the government because they didn't take care of those stores. The government right. is notorious, especially here, for not taking care of businesses mm. or anything. Like look at look at our healthcare system. He, uh, you know, well, what? there's he, always he spoke well. He, uh, uh, it's not his. Well? I'm not saying it's yeah. Legault's fault. He just took power. He didn't build the province. No, no. I'm, I'm just saying. But I, I like he. Right. He was a leader today, Legault. I, 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 you know what? Him even even yeah. even though Trump sounded buffoonish. Uh, I like the fact that he's like, you know what? A lot of people come from Europe and they're sick. Fuck it, we got to stop them from coming in. That's what you have to What's do. What's wrong with that? Because Europe got mad. They go, we're mad that he didn't consult us. It's his fucking country. I wish that Trudeau well, would have done... Take off your shoes when you walk into the yeah, house. I wish that Trudeau would have done the same thing. He had that stupid press conference and he said right. nothing. He should have said, you know what? Any country that's fucking corn, it's going crazy. Yeah, we don't, we're yeah. going to have to block well, for right it. Trudeau probably has it. My cousin's... His wife has it. That, my, uh, so wouldn't he have no, it? But I don't my, know. Uh, my cousins in Italy, like they don't have it. But right now there's like this court, they're, they, they're not allowed, they're only allowed to leave the house to go buy food or whatever, but they're all fucking stuck in, until April 2nd. There's like a curfew or whatever. You can't just be fucking out, whatever. It's like he's locked, not locked. Where in, is but this? You know, Italy. Italy. So, speaking damn. of which, so my cousin, I don't yeah, think yeah. we might even be able to do the April 4th show, by the way. You think what? April 4th will get canceled? If it's April 4th, a, it's, there's a 30 day. Look, if April 4th gets canceled, it's, it's, then that means that April 3rd in Sherbrooke, I'm going to have to cancel too. It's 30 days. The, uh, it's Sugar 30 Sammy, days. April 4th canceled. No, I saw, yeah. I, Wait, Sugar Sammy was on the same night as yeah, us. Yeah, I know. And he canceled. Yeah, yeah, he canceled. Well, look, uh, I saw an Instagram post canceled like five. Everybody's canceled. Look, everybody's people canceled. ask me about Sherbrooke. First of all, I don't even know if the coronavirus made it to Sherbrooke, but uh, our, the venue in Sherbrooke doesn't fit 250 people, it fits 100. Yeah, right. So, but it's then do paranoia. people. Do people want to come out and, and watch it? Paranoid. Do people well, want to expose themselves? Even when we were thinking about doing it tonight, you know, a lot of yeah. people were saying, you know, a lot of people uh, said do it, but we would have. First of all, here's the thing, and you, you made. I think you're the one who told me you made a good point because I was sick. Right. So even though I don't have the coronavirus, imagine someone sees me at the show. They come watch the show. They see me coughing. Right. And then they get the coronavirus a couple days later somewhere. And they go, this motherfucker, I went to a show and he fucking gave me AIDS. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want that. Yeah. Yeah. Already when I went to the clinic yesterday, they thought that I was paranoid as fuck. She even told me like, because I kept wearing the mask. And uh, the guys asked me, I go, well, you know, I had fever yesterday and I think I have the coronavirus. And the guy's like, yeah, you don't have the coronavirus. And I go, well, shouldn't we wait for the blood results to get back? He's like, well, did you, you don't have a fever anymore. Like, your fever just left in two hours right. yesterday. Like, you don't have Yeah, you look fine. Uh, if you Getting had... off the elevator. And, okay, now, it, it, an hour ago, it's myself, 
little Kathy, my sister, her boyfriend, his two sons. I don't know any of these people. Okay? We're getting off the <laughs> elevator, going to the garage of the a, building. Yo. I'm just saying how many people we are. Yo, Jimbo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tiny Steve. <laughs> Frederick. All Is that, there bro. a fucking way for you to say something, you bastards? I'm just trying to tell you what fucking reaction was. Jumanji Jimmy's but, uh, there, but, uh, you know, that... <laughs> Jumanji Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Jumanji Jim, that fucking jungle no matter what I bro. Say, right, I this guy's always an excursion. He's an adventure. I, he likes going in jungles. It's his fault the coronavirus is spreading. the fucking coronavirus vaccine, and I'm going to get shit on. Look, I'm we're getting off the... I know you It's a comedy podcast. We're getting off the elevator, and... We're six is that your phone, bro? Your phone is fucking same ringing the whole guy. time. It's the same Why don't guy. you put the fucking ringer off? I did. You, you didn't because it just no, rang. Because it's fucking it's off, but it's the his Facebook Messenger audio. S- fucking turn your phone off, bro. Turn your fucking phone off. Welcome to another episode of Everybody Yells at Guido. <laughs> Poseidon, yell at fucking Guido, bro. We're getting off the elevator. Nice, too Yo, nice, seriously, We're getting off. off. Yeah, the Poseidon, elevator. you're my enforcer. What are you doing? Enforce. I'm sick. <laughs> you have the worst enforcer ever, bro. <laughs> he doesn't know you're what's going really on. You're really fucked up. Man. Yeah, you gotta chill. Like out out of all like the guys you could have picked for Park X, you got this guy. It's like it's like when you get a guard dog and dog just licks it. No, no, look, look. You know what? I'll say one thing. Well, I've been I, enjoying it I, so far. I did this episode on purpose today. So, Fuck the elevator well, no, hold story. On, we'll tell the elevator story. But no, yeah, because yeah, yeah. we didn't have the show today, I wanted, you know, we'll, we'll get yeah, together. We'll give, we'll give a live. Someone. This is what comedy is going to be now. It's going to be a lot of podcasts. But <laughs> yeah. tomorrow, I don't know if we're going to go live or not, but we're doing an episode tomorrow, two drink minimum, uh, with Mike. And we've got uh, Akash Singh. From, uh, oh, you're supposed to do a live show tomorrow. Because uh, we're supposed to do a live podcast on Sunday. Right. But that, everything got canceled at the bordel. But right. we're going to do a live... Uh, our, our, well, I don't know if it's going to go live, but we're going to do a regular podcast. We're right. going to have guest Akash Singh, who you're responsible for tomorrow. You're yes. responsible for picking up and bringing him back. Please don't fuck the guy over. He's a fucking good dude. Where am well, I have, has he not from? picked up people in the future? Uh, in the pa- uh, he's, uh, in the he's, past. Been, he's had to pick up Godfrey. He was good. Um, uh, uh, everyone I've had to pick up, I think I was good for. Brad Williams. Brad yeah. Williams, he's like, bro, the guy's not here. I'm like, get out of the car. You're going to see him. He got out of the car and saw him. I was like, yeah, he's a small guy, bro. Like, oh, uh, okay, right. Yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah. I was like, he trusts me. He's there. He <laughs> yeah. just texted me that he's there. I don't he's see him, bro. Here. I don't see him. I'm like, please get out of the car, bro. You're making this it's awkward. Like, he's <laughs> hiding behind a tire, yeah. bro. Yeah. Then he got out of the car. He's like, yeah, bro, he's here. I was like, all right, you could have done that earlier. You saved me the trouble of looking like an asshole. <laughs> that was the best. He's not here. I go, he just texted me. He's there. He's looking. He, he doesn't see yeah. you. Like, get out of the car. He's like, yeah, he's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because he's like three feet tall. You <laughs> yeah, know? But, <laughs> but yeah, I've been paranoid too, bro. Like uh, even walking into my building, uh, when I put the key in to open the door, like I, I'll open with my jacket. I'll go like this, open the door, kick it open. And then... Well, can I tell you something? Yeah. The way this works, I, I, I was watching a, a scientist talk about this. It needs to get into your mouth. This thing affects your lungs a lot. So mm. you can even get on your hands and then go wash it. The whole point is uh, okay. don't bring it to your face. And even the masks don't really work that yeah, well. Yeah, no, there's only one approved yeah, no. mask yeah. by the, the Center for Disease Control. The one that everything in. That's because the, the rest, it goes the in. N95. N95. Yeah. It's actually one that uh, there's even some that go all around the face, literally. Yeah. So if it even That's more for eyes. you if you're coughing, you don't know if you have it, yeah. or if you do have it, That's the to not approved. spit on people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's, so, there's only one left in LaSalle of that mask at Canadian Tire. Which but from the 3M The painter's brand. mask. The 3M brand. 3M brand. Yeah, they use that for spray it's painting. The SARS, right. it's, it's actually also called the SARS. Mm-hmm. Bro, talking to the microphone. You're oh. forgetting that you're on a goddamn <laughs> podcast. I'm going to start crying. So but, I but you, no, but, don't start crying. But bro, look, you're on a podcast and you're doing this. This is the microphone. Like, yeah, bro, bro, I watched him the entire time he told the story about yeah. the French guy. He was like this. Yeah, he was far. That's true. Yes, However, it was also, pointing to his mouth. I also know how to project my yeah. voice. And it's here. You get what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Minga, bro, man, calm down. Yeah, you tell him. Yeah, like, like that. He tried. He's tried. I like that you used Italian. This end. Bro, is it looking at my <laughs> mouth? Is this Where okay? did you learn Italian? This is you. Me? This is you. My mommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's him. Me. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's me. I'm Lucas. <laughs> I saw, the video, Wait, uh, I saw the video of the Italian man. Okay, dude, stop. Wait, oh, what are you guys What are you guys <laughs> like doing? I, was, I found it funny at first, but... What? what are you guys doing for... Is he still doing that shit? What are you I'm guys doing... Man. What is wrong with you, bro? What are you guys doing for New York? What do you mean? Are you guys going to go back now? What's leave. the situation? We can't... Well, I, I was actually wondering the same thing. Yeah. I, I, well, I'm, I'm... You know, I was... Good, regardless of anything, I was going to be here for... I was going to here for a few weeks before going back. Um, I don't know. What is the right thing to do? I reside in New York... Do I tell yeah, them you have the to. prime minister said that we can't go? He said, but don't you the live prime in minister USA? didn't say you can't leave? No, he said they, our they prime ministers are a pussy, brother. What did he say apparently uh, today? Do whatever you want, don't talk shit about me. He said something like that. <laughs> no, well, according to the news, it was like for, for two weeks. Don't no, go you anywhere. can go, no, but if you come back, maybe you might have to be quarantined. No, you will have to be quarantined. Yeah, they, if you're a public uh worker or a government yeah. employee, but mandatory quarantine from them, they yeah. let in green card holders, they, they yeah. let you gra- no, they let in everybody. Uh, yeah. that's the problem is that he's letting in everybody. But if you're coming no, from a Trump
So it's not the best plan, but he he, he had to do something to yeah. Or you could fly to Canada and then yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. There's still ways to do it. Go down, yeah, yeah. Huh. Just a little bit of extra uh, money. <clears throat> well, I but looks like I'll probably go like Wednesday or Thursday. You're gonna go. What back about now? Mexico? I don't know because I knocked I my no tooth out now. and I gotta get it fixed. You can go to Mexico for that. You knocked your tooth out again. Oh, dude, it was. Oh, you didn't see it? I sent you yeah, the video. Yeah, I saw your picture, but I thought it was a picture from like before. No, 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 that it was, was like three now. days ago. But how'd you but get I it? see your teeth. How'd you, you get it back, it back in? in he, he went to a dentist. He, he, glued he, it. he glued from this tooth and that tooth, so it actually looks like I have food stuck between my teeth, but that's actually glue. Oh. It, my, my my my. <laughs> I need to. I need a whole like screw in and put back. I honestly actual, feel bad for you. That's the worst. The actual tooth broke. The tooth behind this. How did it break? I was biting my nails. I mean, what? No way. Yeah. yeah. The, Can you? Well, did that teach you? At least did you learn a lesson about stop biting your nails? Well, obviously, I have a problem. But what are your teeth made of? Fucking plaster of Paris? Why? They're, they're made of biting your of nails. Porcelain. Cracking? No, I, uh, I guess because I needed root canal that was um, undiagnosed, so it was uh, weak. And went, uh, child. You made me when I saw that because he sent me the the video of him <laughs> spitting his tooth out. It, you saw that video? It made me nervous about my teeth. You saw that video? The spitting no. tooth out video? But by the way, you, when you sent it to I me, was, I told him. When you sent it to me, I was in the, the car. But hold on. I have yeah. another question. So you didn't see I've, the video? I haven't seen it yet. Ask it. You're supposed to feel the pain of a root canal. That's why when the dentist here was checking, he goes, this doesn't hurt? I said, no. Was, this doesn't hurt. Like he was shocked. So the nerve is obviously dead. I'm Bro, you're on speed or something. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm, I'm on Adderall. <laughs> uh, he's just calm and chill But uh, no He <laughs> said uh, He was surprised That it didn't hurt So the nerve is probably Dead for sure But his, Anyway I need this. screws I need the whole thing But his, you, As long as it looks good Your message Made it look Like you suck dick To sell tickets Because <laughs> he says He's like bro I just sold seven tickets For the show To the, <laughs> Mer- <laughs> the people at Mercedes <laughs> And, spit my tooth and he says that And the picture Is him toothless <laughs> Holding uh, Yeah I saw the toothless And I don't understand picture. How'd you sell these <laughs> tickets? Like, how did you convince them to buy tickets? We're like, right. And how hard did you suck their dicks? Well, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, yeah. Bro, even what do you I think I practiced to talk on a mic from? A fucking. I, uh. Oh, that's no, why he even really I wants to sell tickets. That's why. That's why sometimes he's too far and sometimes <laughs> he eats it. It's because like ah, he's scared. Ah, I don't want to ah. put it in my mouth. <laughs> no, I mean, there's nothing quite like. It. Oh my god. So do you think April? Even 4th, I'm gonna start ripping you. Are they still calling you? Yeah, and I actually wrote quickly. I said, bro, I'm on a live show. I'm on a live show on YouTube, and he's like, "Call me back, please." He called six, seven Who's times. Who's this? I said, "Is there urgent?" Do you go? You want to go in the hallway, buddy, and take care of this? <sighs> Who's calling? Sorry, it's okay. That's okay. Get out. You know, take care of your business. Well, I like fucking with you, but I don't want you to be sad. So, you guys, uh, when he comes back in, I say we rape him. How about <laughs> yo, I should lock the door to fuck with him. No, no, no. I feel bad. I feel oh, bad because okay. he's already he's already toothless, and we're, we're yelling at him. Um, he's. I'm not saying he's not bringing it on himself. He's what definitely bringing it on himself. No, but like you know, Nuka it's not. It's Nuka Cola is a Fallout uh, from the game Fallout. It's oh, a reference. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I've been. Uh, uh, I saw an ad for uh, Tom Video. I saw an ad for you know the the three D thing with the with they put the goggles. Oh, the VR. Yeah. Yeah, and I fucking saw it with like the fucking Star Wars, and oh. I because I love uh, I love any like. Maybe you don't know this about me, but um, I watch any movie that has sword or lightsaber. Swords. You love swordplay. Yeah, any swordplay. I know that's you're trying to say <laughs> something right no, now. No, no, yeah, no. You like swordplay. <laughs> no, no, but anything like fucking that has swords, fighting, gladiator shit, whatever the fuck it is. Anything I love phallic, it. And now I'm like, around. I can fucking be a gladiator I- inside this thing. Do you like uh, video games? Yeah, well, you know, when I was a kid, you know what I mean? Because uh, like, they've evolved playing. a lot. I yeah, you know what it was? Like, I love playing video games. Like, you know, in the arcades, there was the joysticks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Pressing fucking buttons. Like fighting games. It's just these fucking... Uh, You're not comfortable. Control, like, it's it's hard for me to fucking... Uh, Have you tried computer gaming? Yeah, no. You know what? I when I There was a one point I used to play a lot of uh, computer uh, games because, you know, there's the mouse, you hit the keys. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit, you know... Um, but just the fucking like PlayStation remotes, I can't. The little fucking joystick with the fucking thumbs and. But why do you why do you play like this? Like you're a witch. Why yeah, don't yeah. you just play it normally? Because <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to like mime. Uh, uh, this is me miming. So a, the PlayStation, PlayStation controller, you're not comfortable, huh? Yeah, like I could play it. I just you know, um, I guess you know I, I I don't like them. I don't know. But I would like to play the fucking 3D. Put the uh, mic close. Put the mic close. I, I once. I Boxing. once. Uh, I <laughs> once. Yeah. <laughs> I once played a, a VR game. It was uh, you control like that's uh, the name for it, VR. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it, you control a fighter jet, but yeah. in, it's like a in space, bro. It was so much. So fun. it's not a fighter jet. It's in space, like a spaceship. Well, like a, sp- but it was like a smaller, like a fighter spaceship. Yeah, what I was at uh, cool. Rodney Ramsey's house. Oh, he loves VR. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then because we were doing this like little, 
like VR like sketch and you had these characters whatever and then at one point I'm just sitting in this and it's like the fucking Matrix I'm sitting in this room and it's just empty and then you just like load up shit and grab it and I was like I need to like get one of these fucking systems you well know that's I mean? the future especially now look yeah. at this quarantine stuff yeah. if yeah. this persists I like, I like fighter like when I used to play a lot of video games it's like you know fighter games you know, like Mortal Kombat that kind of shit and anything with fucking swords barbarian things you know you like that I, I used to like I used to play a lot of Diablo Okay, you're a big Diablo guy. Okay. Yeah, like I, I fucking played Diablo. Like it was like fucking crack for me. Bro. Diablo, really? dude, Diablo I wasn't, one or two. Dude, I wasn't uh, Diablo 2. Diablo. I was, I was fucking playing so... Dude, I didn't... I used to sleep two, three hours a day. I used to go into like fucking like four or five in the morning. I sleep an hour and a half. I go to work. And while I was fucking at work, thinking about how I get through... And as soon as I get fucking home... God back, damn. I said like literally... That's addiction. Like 15, 20 hours a day on fucking... Day. And then because I had a cracked copy. My friend gave me a cracked copy. And then something out on my computer, I had to like do some stuff, I had to reboot shit yeah. or whatever. And then the 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 patch that was on Fucked the up. game didn't work anymore. Then I couldn't play. And then I couldn't find the fucking patch. And that's what stopped me from fucking playing. God damn. Uh, and then like those two, three days that I wasn't able to play. And I was like... Withdrawal. Oh, and then and all of a sudden, not even withdrawal. I just started getting back to my life. Because I still like literally play 15, 20 hours a day. And then those two days where I was trying to, I go, bro, could you send me that pad? He goes, yeah, next time you come to my house, I have to get, because he got it from like another, like a mutual friend. He goes, next time I see Eric, I'll get the, the patch off of him. And I know while I was waiting those three, four days, and he goes, I got the patch. I'm like, it's cool, man, keep it. Because those four days, I went back to my life, you know, yeah, seeing yeah. friends, going to bars, yeah. having drinks, you know, talking to women. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, and I was like, holy fuck, like I had no, fu like literally, I know, like I lived inside that yeah, world. Yeah, it you know takes. What I, mean? I was uh, uh, in that game. I was a, a necromancer. You okay. know what I mean? At one point, you start believing that you can raise the dead out of the ground. You know what I mean? <laughs> like so, that you're in that world so much. I'm like, I am the necromancer. That's the well, that's was the, what, what on replay in my brain. And I know it sounds mental, but like literally in my brain, I'll be in the. I can't. I go. I can't wait to get back home so I can become the necromancer. Like that's how fucked I was. Yeah. I'm not even exaggerating to be funny. I no, would no, be no. in the go like I must get back to that world. You know what I mean? Like I was his voice, the necromancer's voice in that game people was inside my head. Even, that's how fucked it was. People have to go to rehab for video game yeah, addiction. Yeah, no, it's fucking crazy. Even though I grew up playing a lot of video games, yeah. I never believed in video game addiction until I started working in video games mm -hmm. and I was working game testing, me and my buddy Milton, and there was a guy... Uh, Isn't he in jail? Guy. Uh, yeah, but it has nothing to do with the story. So <laughs> the, this is way earlier. This is 2006, 7. Um, so uh, actually, he's not in jail now, Milton. Milton's in the States. Right. Does he so, smoke? Oh, my God, this guy. Is, yeah, yeah bur burn all my bits, bro, on... Uh, on, on the podcast. Yeah. yeah. So, bro, how close are you right now to punching him for me? Bro, stop it. Come yeah. on, man. So, um, essentially, there was a guy that was working so with us, and it was during World of War. Yeah, but he, look at him. He's taking out like, on us. Somebody pissed him off, and now he's coming to fuck up the podcast for us and everyone watching. Everything will be okay. Yeah, yeah everything's bro, fine. We, we don't know who fucking talked to you. It's not our business. We didn't do anything to you. It's fine. It's, it's not being not, an asshole it's to not, us. It's not my style to roast you, but I'm going to start roasting you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, even me, bro. Even like, you, of all people. Yeah. We're not being a dick to you. We're reacting to you. You're reacting. We're reacting. So, anyways, this guy that we worked with, uh, WoW was a big thing, World of Warcraft. Yeah. I never got into it. I didn't. I was never into computer games. Right. I was only into console games. And we're going to Metro once. We come back home, and he was with us. And uh, he started talking about the game. And he worked full time with us. And he's like, "Oh, I gotta get home. I gotta continue playing. You know, I'm right. playing a lot of that." And just out of curiosity, we're like, "Well, how do you play it?" He was telling us like, "There's other people online." He was trying to explain to us right. what, what World of Warcraft is. Yeah, and Diablo like, is pretty much the same thing. It's yeah. the same kind of world. like you get with other people online. Yeah, all you go online. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, well, how many hours a week you think you play? Conservatively, he's like, I don't know, maybe fifty hours. And I'm like, how's that possible? You work forty hours. Oh. He's like, yeah, I was working. I was playing all night. Yeah. Yesterday, I jumped in the shower. I, I grabbed balls. Balls was an energy drink at the time that was right. around. Yeah. Oh, and, Jesus. I came, <laughs> and I came to work, and he would do this a lot. So I was like, yo, how the fuck do these cocksuckers function? I think some of them dropped. Dude, that was crazy. Because yeah. you're, they have cause heart you're drinking all that. Because it's just right. energy drink. You're not moving. You're not yeah. moving out of your chair. Yeah. And the addiction is real. And Diablo is responsible for a lot of that shit. I'm not saying they did it on purpose, but remember the, the loot system, the way they drop items? Oh, yeah, yeah, Apparently, yeah. Apparently, they did all kinds of testing on what's more addictive of yeah. the randomness. You remember this? I, I see a documentary about the randomness of dropping items. There was a whole system about it. Wasn't ra it wasn't like uh, just nerds thinking, oh, I think this will work. They did all kinds of testing to figure out what's more addictive to keep yeah. coming back. Uh, and some people, they made games that were addictive by accident, like Civilization. Right. 
the whole one more click phenomena. Yeah. Of, oh, I just want one more click, one more turn. Oh, that's yeah. me with Total War, by the way. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they didn't do it on purpose. I don't open Total uh, War during, anymore. They found out during testing, people were like, I couldn't stop playing. I just wanted one more turn. And then it was five in the morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Dude, slot, yeah. Machines, that's what I, slot machines do that with the sound that the machine makes, the dur- winning sound. Dur- 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 when you win $1,000 on a spin... Or five and when cents. you win five cents, it's the same sound. Oh, yeah, yeah. So your brain still thinks it's a reward. It releases dopamine. Yeah. So, on, so that's why yeah. you keep going. But but in those games, because sometimes like I would you know do like the missions or whatever, but sometimes I would spend 10, 15 hours, and I wouldn't do whatever fucking mission I had to do. I would just go through into that world and just kill things to collect coin and items to then fucking sell them to buy fucking better fucking you know, just like in uh, real life magic That's wands and fucking armor and all that in a couple of weeks you'll be doing that for real yeah 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 but no but I was <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly yeah this, this is the world <laughs> but I would spend we're gonna I, go see a wizard no, yeah. it's gonna be, it's gonna be the, the fucking walking dead yeah. in a couple of weeks oh yeah no it's gonna be yeah then all that time I spent on Diablo will come in handy but since That's I was what Anthony says 10, 10, 15 hours just like today I was like today my mission is just to collect coin and fucking find good armor but you, but you know he was saying 50 hours I used to probably spend like fucking 70, 80 hours a it's, week yeah. like when I wasn't working I was on the computer playing that game I've never on heard the of weekend, your video game addiction and I've yeah yeah this years. was years ago but yeah because a lot of times first of all when you're in it you don't know that you're addicted no because if somebody would ask you like right now if I'm into it and somebody tells me are you addicted to the game I'd be like no I'm just anti-vampire I can't have yeah. them. I don't over. even know you play yeah. video games. We have. I, I used to play it. a lot of like computer games back, like early two thousands. You don't like games, um, you? I stopped from. You super, played games, motherfucker. From super. The last game I was addicted to was Golden Eye, and oh, I stopped there. That was there. a game. That was a great yeah. game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was, yeah, I played uh, that The last too time as well. I played Golden Eye was on nine eleven. Uh, so I didn't go into uh, Genesis. Then it got too complicated. Wait, hold on. Was there a story yeah. behind you playing yeah. on nine eleven? Yeah, I, I remember it like yesterday. You remember uh, where you were? The towers were falling. Well, and you're like, you, why'd you pick odd job, exact, bro? I'll tell you exactly what I did. <laughs> I'm uh, I woke up early, which was uh uncate- you know, <clears throat> uh, I woke up, I started watching uh Good Morning uh, the NBC one. Day- good, morning, uh, good Morning America. America. No, that's the, the ABC one. What's the Quady Kirk one with go, Matt Lauer? Good morning, the United States. Today, the Today Show. <laughs> so I'm watching Harry Belafonte, shake, 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 Sinora, getting interviewed yeah. by Katie Kirk. I turn it off, uh, Malakias. Turn it off, start playing that stupid silo. I can never pass that boom, that stupid silo. And I'm playing it, and then I'm like, okay, I'm done here. Let me turn it off. Turn it off. No more Today Show. Huh. What the fuck is this? What's we are now tomorrow. TV? No, there's no, I don't know. Doing. So I turn on the radio. Howard. It's nine in the morning. Well, I listen to Howard. Howard was, was and Howard yeah. is talking about the towers. And I'm like, oh, fucking Howard took another day off. He's talking about 1993 bombing. Oh, did you think that that's, that's what it was? That's exactly what I thought. Oh, and then shit. I'm like, wait, and then people are calling in, yeah, there's kids on the roof. And they're, what? What's happening here? I run upstairs and I'm seeing them both on fire. I'm, when oh, I'm the only guy on the roof in Brooklyn now. And I'm freaking out. Was I, I go downstairs and I bang on my roommate's oh, door. You were in New York. When, yeah. Oh, shit. I, I go downstairs, I bang on my roommate's door. He's all pissed from guy from Australia and his girlfriend. Are you fucking opening the door like that? And then later on, he's like, fuck, yeah, thanks for waking me up. We all, everyone, st- everybody on the roof in Brooklyn just going like this. And I remember going, um, I think I could see the uh, helicopter that's bringing the water. It's falling! Oh, my God. Yeah. But and, we do went, you, and I went downstairs, got batteries, and listened to Peter Jennings for the rest of the day. How crazy. You know what's... And I heard with my own ears. I heard with my own ears. Reports that a plane has been shot down in Pennsylvania. I heard that. What do you mean you heard with your own ears? Who's Pe- he, why, why was happening Pe- live? Why was happening live? Peter Jennings. Oh, no, I know. But who else's ears would you be hearing from, you fucking dickhead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, but I'm saying... I'm saying I, heard, I heard from Poseidon's ears. <laughs> His neighbor's ears. What I meant to say Do is... Do you remember where you were when Everybody it does. It's like... Yeah, a, I, I actually remember, My dad remembers yeah. uh, when Kennedy was shot. They How old was I? I was... Uh, six. I was eight. Bro, you don't remember. You had other problems. You I was eight. Yeah. Actually, actually, I was eight in classic Poseidon fashion. My mother was, you were eating. was freaking out. Uh, and uh, I, uh, she, she wakes me up. Uh, come see, come see. Uh, I go to she thought room. it was a fucking event. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the fireworks in New York. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing the parade. And, uh, and I, I, she woke me up from a nap. And uh, I look at the TV and I see the Twin Towers on fire. And I go, oh. and you know, what's that? And I went back to the bed. You're eight years old. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> now I had, I had, I, had I, w- I was in high school. I was in high school. And at lunchtime for Evangeline, we were going, we'd come here on Liège. We went that day to Kit Kat. Mm. I remember the day because they the had it Depener? on the screen. Yeah, the Kit Kat Depener. They had it on the screen. And I remember we were in there and we're having trouble comprehending 
what was happening. Because at first I thought it was like a movie or something. Like, what the fuck's going on? And then that's the guy what everybody that, said. Yeah, the guy that works there is like, no, no, I've been watching this all day. Like a fucking right. two planes. Did it. And, but I don't think it had collapsed yet. Because then right. when we so went. So it was 10, 10 something. Oh no, maybe it did have collapsed by that time. Yeah. But I remember wh- the videos that we were showing was the smoke that they were showing us. And then I remember going back to school and they had to make an announcement in every class that shit went down. And that's when I was like, oh shit, this is serious. Then I remember right. it was 5 p.m. because we watched, uh, we got the TV back. Ernie Anastas has the, uh, your paisan, got the afro. He's one of those legendary, he's the New York's uh, Mitsumi Takahashi, like okay. the one that everybody for years did. Ernie Anastas, it was 5 p.m. and he goes, and there goes tower number five. Mm-hmm. That's, but, tower five? five. T- tower, the, the one that fell out of nowhere. Oh, building seven, bro? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there that's goes, suspicious. There goes, there goes number seven. Where did it fall from? It's fucking, it was from here to uh, Marcius on trial. Yeah, no, no. We uh, don't have to get I'm, into that. We, knew, we know that that was a fabric. But, but um, I knew this guy from back in the day. He used to, uh, this guy used to do comp. But his his aunt used to work for an insurance company, right? And um, their main office was in uh, the World Trade Center. That was the one. The, uh, the I know that one. That the, yeah. oh, the the CEO was bawling his eyes out on the on the news the right. next day. But he he she lost had everybody. She had an appointment that she would go to the fucking office and like whatever. She works here in Montreal, but she had like a meeting. She had to go to New York. And it wasn't that. Bi- and then they said, uh, you know what? Uh, we're gonna have to reschedule the meeting and for now next she's alive. week. Yeah, she's, if if they didn't reschedule that meeting and their fucking uh, their fuck. fucking offices were like on the fucking top floor or whatever, fuck, but the, the upper floors. Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, the plane. plane. Yeah, but um, yeah, he was supposed to be yeah. on one of the planes. And, um, yeah. So um, one thing they don't talk about when you were there is the smell. By the way, you're just on the corner of this For years. Camera. I know. Yeah, I'm he's, leaning he's, back. I'm, I'm like, the smell that New York he had. He doesn't get how any of this works. Oh, well, he <laughs> stopped. Telling. The smell, it smelled of smoke and burning all the subways. Even if you were at 42nd Street, right. you smelled the... S- yeah, obviously. That's, that's, and, that's um, fucking horrible. Uh, they're still paying out cats because all the people that went to volunteer, they all asbestos now. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and John Stewart did all that shit. Yeah, well, good. At least John Stewart yeah. fought for people, yeah. And um, uh, there was candles in everybody's windows. And on every uh, telephone poll was, um, have you seen this person? Have you seen my dad? Have you seen this? Oh. And uh, yeah. that Sunday... He's bringing it to a real downer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but wait. He wait. made 9-11 more sad. <laughs> but uh, 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 that Sunday... Uh, I was raped violently. Yeah, that Sunday... <laughs> by, by a bunch of volunteer no, firefighters. but me and Cucumello... <laughs> you're a laugh? Me, me and Cucumello... I, la- yeah, I love He has a contagious <laughs> laugh. Yeah, he has a good laugh. Me and Cucumello had a comedy... Uh, we started school People like, have the said next that when he's on the show. <laughs> and we were also laugh. in a stand-up comedy class that we had to do the next day, and we were on a downer then, too. But uh, that Sunday was victorious, though. For a brief period, for like one week, the entire country was united. Yeah, right. Every the, the Giuliani was the world's mayor, and uh, uh, we I was on um, uh, what is that uh, Fifth Avenue at uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral, and uh, the firemen drove by, and I'm talking for <laughs> my, for ten miles. All the people on the street in New York, because everybody stopped, everybody stopped and cheered. And these guys went by, and that was like, look, I'm getting goosebumps now. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. And uh, but you know what? And people died, and then with that, I remember. Speaking, I remember this, this, no, go ahead. Speaking of Saint Saint Patrick's Cathedral, Saint Patrick's Day got canceled also. The parade, yeah, yeah, not yeah, the, the, the parade. The, the, the parade, the parade, still mean, happening. The parade. Sorry. Yeah, the, the, parade. The, yeah, the, the, the Boston Marathon. <laughs> yeah, anything, any. But, yeah, but no, you have no. to, because you don't know. Because you know why they're doing this? It's it's uh, like I said. They said that seventy or ninety percent of the population within the next year is going to get it. Right. It's just because in these large gatherings, if too many people get at once. Yeah, it's, it's going to shut down yeah. everything. Yeah. Imagine you, like, okay, the buses don't work. Why? Because literally every bus driver is home with the flu. <laughs> that it, makes sense. Yeah, no, yeah. Pandemonium. Yeah. They're even the, trying, they're, yeah. they're, they're telling nurses that are in retirement to come back. They're like, even if you don't have a license, we'll just give you back your license and oh, you know, retrain That's you for nice. whatever USA's Well, in Italy, they said that they're, they're getting people yeah, with not much Montreal, experience to help them out. USA's yeah, yeah. numbers are catching up to Italy violently. When I got off, the, when I Quickly, came back from New York. What about the horror game? The, the horror what? game? Yeah. What do you mean the horror game? Like you're the the horror industry. Oh, I don't know, yeah. but I have stayed away. But what about I the thought you're solid, talking about like, like some solid sort of gold? Game. <laughs> like, do you want to be at solid gold tonight? You're right. The strip. Yeah. Clubs. What about the horror game? The horror game must I be affected. Know, but like I'm staying away. Yeah. All all these economies are getting fucking fucked. Yeah. No. Speaking of actually, you could get preferential rates right now. Oh, stop. Uh, don't Dude, I just shouldn't have said that. You can get it. You shouldn't have said that. Fucking ladies wear for a the mask. price of one. <laughs> wear a mask and go do your business, bro. Let's call, uh, what's oh, her name? That, that girl. I still have her 50 number. bucks for two hours, bro. I'm uh, going to oh, town. I, I saw something uh, on Facebook <laughs> or some article where it was saying uh, coronavirus porn 
is going viral. Oh, yeah, yeah. That? That's guys in hazmat like, you know, suits. Yeah, hazmat suits. I guess there's a fucking hole or something oh, or whatever. The nine fuck months it is. from now, a lot of babies are going to be born. These next two weeks. Everyone's still yeah. Home. Mm. Uh, but they say that once you babies. get it, you should, unless you're older, they say that you should uh, then develop an immunity to it. But th- there was cases of certain people, young, pretty healthy, that they got it. And then they put them in quarantine as their um, condition was getting better. Mm. And they put them in quarantine with other people with coronavirus. And then they fucking got it again. Right. Yeah, you can my, get it again. My, my right. friend that uh, uh, has a bomb shelter that's been home for three months, he sent me something like... Hold on, hold on. This, who's this psychopath? I want to meet him. My friend Alex. <sighs> Alex, the the movie producer. Alex. He has a bunker. No, no he's no, talking he, about the cantina, bro. He's but but he's the, he's the been the stocked culture, up. Bro. He's like he's yeah. there with the, he's Anthony Cumia. He's got his gun. Oh, I want to buy now because yeah. all this he's shit like happened. That. I want to buy a house pretty far just in case, and I want to be able to grow my own shit. I want to have like some trees, right. you know, just but in case I need to he, run away. He sent mm. me something that uh, China said today that uh, the USA uh, created this shit. Oh, China needs to suck a dick. Yeah. Because um, we know how it started at that fucking wet market. Uh, these buffoons and that's why cruise ships Yo, get let's eat steaks cruise ships are moist tiger dicks uh, uh, chicken cru- cruise ships crickets, are moist you bat why- soup you, well, the second you start eating live bats mm. shit's gonna go off the fucking rails guys and cruise yeah, ships yeah. are bats moist bacteria things. grows in moisture cruise ships are always moist um, oh but you can get and, a uh, fucking crazy deal right well, now well did you see ship. Andrew Searles no Andrew Schultz I, I wanted to send a message but I didn't like it's coronavirus telling you avoid everything this guy tweets finally I got a vacation I'm going on a cruise I was like yo are you crazy <laughs> like, yeah, Anthony, <laughs> Anthony was booked is Anthony going no. I don't think so I You're saw that are you serious Andrew, yeah I was it, like what the fuck is Cyril's doing like don't tweet this that makes you look dumb but you don't know what that. but you know what I, I've uh I've been contemplating about going to Italy right now because I've been well, in a no, while. They won't let I'm you like uh, two hundred dollars. <laughs> but you, know, you, you can't go in. Oh, no. oh, you can't go in, eh? right? Italy's closed. Italy's closed. Is it closed? Yeah. yeah. But uh, I'll fly to France and then I, I'll just I, fucking I, drive. Home I, I read an article yesterday that said uh, the first cases of people being cured finally and like getting past it right. are occurring now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're, um, uh, I lost it. That's okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I, gotta go, the I gotta go to Australia now, and uh, they're you still can't. open. Are, no, are they open? I, I don't know. Australia might be open. Tom Hanks is there. Yo, but uh, somebody mentioned this to me. But Tom Hanks I'm going to try to find the link of the documentary he, I saw. Yeah, I saw two documentaries, and they're both pretty good. Uh, and they both came out in the last two weeks, and they talk about the, the government um, hiding the information from people, and they helped it spread. Then that whole uh, festival of, like, New Year's for the Chinese people happened, and uh, all, you know, there's so many Chinese people so from all around the world, yeah. right? So they went there, they got that shit, and then they spread it around. Yeah. if Because the government was trying to hide shit if the government the communist regime was was honest and said you yeah, got a situation let's shut it down this would never happen no but these fucking cocksuckers didn't want to be honest that's what happened but now well, also france the, while all this shit is happening for some reason they held the, uh, one of the largest ga- uh, like parades uh, what kind of parade th- they all dressed up as smurfs yeah well because those are the uh. kind of people you want them to get the coronavirus yeah. and, you're right, right. and then they're but, gone um, <laughs> uh, um someone said this to me <clears throat> They're like, Everybody I hope it's just that giant, <coughs> you know, the French and it, orgy thing. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, yeah, like every year we get together. We and they broke scared. a world right. <laughs> and they broke a world record. Yeah, record most by the people way. with coronavirus at the same time. Yeah, most a bunch of retards uh, ever. Yeah. But, airports, but France has a lot of problems, bro. I think I might yeah. be okay. I might look like an ass if I go. Either I look like a hero that I go do a show, or airport is actually probably the cleanest. Either um, it's going to be empty, so I won't get anything. And on the plane, there's not going to be anybody. So. Bro, you know how, first of all, the, the bacteria could stay from the last flight? You know how dirty these planes are? You I know, d- but they're yeah. cleaning. Already New York subways, uh, they have to clean them three times a day. Bro, let me tell you something about these fucking lies. Okay, so I'm okay? not going to Australia? Yeah, yeah, don't go oh, to Australia. I'll right. tell you something. Well, we'll get to Australia in a second, but I'll tell you these lies here. The fucking Hi, mayor. Jess. The mayor of the city, who we, is, she's a well-known buffoon. She goes, oh, well, because of this, then now we have to start cleaning all the bus and the metros every day. <laughs> yeah, so oh, oh, this is the best. She just says it random like that, right? Not asking any questions. Then the, the STM, they actually come out, the trans people are like, the fuck is she talking about? We don't have the manpower or the money to do this. Right. Oh, okay. Then once a week. Then that defeats the purpose, dickhead. Because then during the week, people are going to work. They're going to get sick. New you York, stupid they wipe, bitch. They wipe down the subways twice a day now. Here? In, in Manhattan. Oh, that would be badass. Manhattan. They do it. You see it. <laughs> Well, they have to. They have like fucking 10 million people live there. In, in a, a small people. island. It's Speaking not. of small well, islands, if shit the hits island. the fan and it becomes the zombie apocalypse. New York is not just Manhattan. You yeah, know where no, I no. would go? Cuba. You know there's only like, I think. Go to Cuba. I, I look. There's nothing there. Best place to be. Cuba? There's no disease. It's, it's bro, it's, it's a communist. Uh, uh, no, I know, but I'm saying. There's no disease. You know what else there is? No edible the food. Today. Oh, oh. Drinkable <laughs> water. I was looking at the map. They do have uh, cases, by the way. They do? Yeah. 
Cases and cases of Corona. Bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, exactly. But if you Mexican. pay more, if you pay more, you get the premium stuff. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, happy, uh, honestly, here that our premier at least had some balls because it does take. If you want to actually stop it, he you have like to a take. Leader today. You have to take drastic measures. Yeah. You can't be like our our prime minister. I don't know. We're gonna see. We're not gonna close. Like, Whoa, yeah. no, no, no. We're shutting shit down. We gotta be, be fucking careful. We Who can't kill our people. Have? Listen, map. I what's the least part of the map that has? No I've been staying well, Africa. Africa is I've been uh, staying at home. The least know? affected, by the way, from the, what I've been seeing, even South America has yeah, been. But Africa is a continent, like a country, uh, any Uganda, what, what uh, Niger. I would say, <laughs> like I was, looking, I was looking at the map. I was looking at the map. It was uh, okay. North Africa has been affected, obviously, because yeah. it's Tunisia, like, Algeria. Yeah, yeah, it's been Egypt. part of it's part of the Mediterranean. The Mediterranean is affected because you'll travel there. Yeah, Not a lot of people are like, I the can't laws wait. did so much I, fucking. I can't wait for that fucking vacation destination in Nigeria. Nobody's saying that, so right. it didn't really spread that much. Togo. Yeah. yeah uh, so Sub Sahara has almost not been affected at all. Yeah. But they have mm. other problems. How is right. it? Diplomatic Civil war, immunity yeah. in the South Africa. People with machetes, yeah, yeah, child yeah, soldiers. Yeah. Child soldiers. <laughs> they got other shit to They got about. bigger yeah, yeah. problems. Yeah, bigger bigger fish to fry. Child soldiers went there. Which one? Uh, the documentary of the, the cannibal uh, soldiers of. Uh, what? What's the country they set up in Africa that's supposed to be like all the people that went back to. Uh, uh, oh, um, Liberia. Liberia. Did you see that documentary? No, 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 no. But uh, the cannibal. I, I've heard about cannibals in Africa. All that shit oh, is, that's, is fucked up to be, man. Up, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't hungry. follow any of these things. So, yeah, 9 11, cannibals, cancer. Right. Anything else? Oh, uh, speaking of 9 11, since we brought it up, uh, you want to laugh? So, I was talking with my dad today. Oh, boy. <laughs> I told him this. So, uh, he goes. Uh, Are you preparing yourself? He, he, so, he started, so, he started talking about uh, COVID 19 and everything. And, and that. he goes, How does he call Does he say coronavirus? Does he say COVID 19? COVID 19. Okay, this oh, guy's he, a gangster. So he goes, so no, he goes, says COVID 19. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then he started. <laughs> hey, buddy, COVID 19, eh? Okay. And, then he started, yeah. and this is how I know he's full of shit. He started explaining why it's called COVID. And as he's trying to find a bullshit excuse, couldn't find one, skips to the 19. And he goes, Yeah, so the COVID and the, and the 19, you know why it's called 19? <laughs> And then he goes, and then he looks at me dead, dead in the eyes, and he goes, you know why? I go, why? 2019. He goes, guess what year are we now? I go, 2020. And he goes, what year did 9-11 happen? I go, 2001. And he goes, 2020 minus 2001. I go, 19. <laughs> and he knocked and on goes, the table? So, yeah, and he goes, that's why it's COVID-19. This is another government <laughs> experiment. Your dad, your dad might be the dumbest person. <laughs> Does your dad hang out at a regular bar? On the fucking planet. Does your, bar, your dad have a regular hangout? Your dad thing? needs to be in an institution. <laughs> Your dad it's not safe to have this guy driving a car outside. <laughs> Your dad is Cliff Clavin Greek. Man. That may be the dumbest Man, thing I've ever Cliff heard. Cliff Greek. He I, don't know if, I don't know if you, I don't think it was messy. I it. hang out with you for hours a week. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And you yeah. say a lot of dumb shit. Your yeah. dad just took the cake. When he told me that story uh, outside, he actually asked me, he goes, uh, I'm going to try, he was, like as he's setting it up, he's like, I'm going to make you guess, right, why it's not, I'll, I'll let you try to guess why it's 19. I was just like, I don't know, bro. You just told me 19. I don't know. Fucking. Right, he had yeah. me at the knock on the table. He goes, that's the one. Yeah, like, I got this. Uh, the they best. can't outsmart me, these government shills. Yeah, yeah. You know what I did? I looked at him like this. I go, are you serious? Your dad has the secret code I go, for on, I go, Are you fucking serious? And he goes, yeah. I just started playing Call of Duty, bro. I was you know like, what sucks? Bro, but do you know that half of his DNA? You know what sucks? I couldn't handle. What sucks is that you're his grown-up semen. I was gonna say yeah. half of his DNA is in yeah. you, bro. But I think, but also, but is he like, is he really serious when he says this shit? Yeah, or is he like just no, fucking no, no, around? No, 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 no. Buffoon, bro. He was here last. I had him on Legend. my old podcast, and the episode doesn't exist anymore. But he was talking to us about alien conspiracies, how the Greeks are aliens, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, all kinds of racist shit like that. <laughs> the uh, then he got mad at me because because we were talking about racism. And uh, I told him, like, you know, it's 20, whatever the fuck it was, 2018. I go, like, at some point, you got to figure out, like, the race doesn't really make a difference, you know? Like, right. it's your culture. Like, it doesn't right. matter what race you are. That's not going to make you no. a piece of shit. Right. And then he's like, no, what's bad is people like you, he goes, you're impeding on my right to be racist. So you're the racist oh. for not letting me be racist. And wow. I was like, that is so fucking stupid. <laughs> like, that is so fucking stupid. And yet he was so in, he's like, you're being a racist towards me because you're not letting me be racist. So he's, he's a legend. Wow. He's, yeah. he's a cartoon character. It's beautiful. Oh, shit. But is he really for like for real? For real? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. not playing he's because not playing. I I have friends who people would think they're dumb. And I'm like no, no, bro, no, 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 no. He's trust fucking me. with you. He's pretending. to Half be his dumb. gene pool is sitting next to you. Come on, do the math. <laughs> do the math. No, he is. You know him. He well, he's yeah, your father. Yeah, you know. Him, right? <laughs> you know. He was like, you know. You've seen him before. <laughs> uh, so, first of all, the way he we, doesn't even have an didn't argument. He have one about planes. He said something bro, about the plane. He's building a plane. Dude, the, the way the way we found out about Poseidon's dad, the first story that ever came out of the whole history of Poseidon, Poseidon's. Genesis 
was actually about his Sega Genesis. When yeah. his dad left the family, yeah. oh, yeah, okay. he stole the Sega Genesis yeah. and the wires, <laughs> From but the left kid. the controllers. So he wasn't trying to sell the Sega. No, he left all the wires. He just took the Sega, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So he just didn't want him to play. Like, that's kind of piece of shit. Your dad left you when you were young? Yeah, and he yeah. took and he the took Sega, Sega the Genesis, Sega. but just the yeah. Sega left the wires at home. I'm surprised you don't know about this. To send the message. I feel like the story was told before. Yeah, on two drinking But minimum. it sounds like, you know what? I think it just sounds like your dad was like, I'm going to leave, but I want my kids to remember me. You yeah. know what I mean? So he just took the Sega. <laughs> he had an impact. So there's, there's a little bit of a, a, like, a sentimental thing. Yeah, but there. how did we remember him? He didn't think the about that. The piece of shit who stole my Sega. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, because he knows that if he would have left because you were a kid, he knows if you would have left and you had the Sega, you'd be like, dad's gone, and whatever. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> but he's like, if I take this fucking thing, they're going to remember the day I left. You know what I mean? I don't remember well, the day Well, you've left. turned into a well-adjusted individual. <laughs> But I don't, you know what? I think if he stayed, he would have been worse. Way he would have been here right now being like, guys, let me but tell he, you, this coronavirus is from worse. fucking space, bro. It's these way fucking worse. Chinese right. aliens trying to kill us. And he would also, as a, a grown man, speak with a high pitch. <laughs> <laughs> like but your dad is, is, like, is like a buddy of yours now. You don't consider him. But like he left and then he uh, came dad? back. But like, no, like, did he really. like leave, leave for not a while? Really. No, no, he left, left for, for a lot. How long? Like how long did you not see him from when he left? He walked around like Kane and Kung Fu. And he left the world. The, the, the there was two, three instances where we went to the United States to see him, but it was only for like three days. Where was he? Right. Astoria. Uh, no, he was on Long Island. Yeah, he was Long living. Island, in, right? He was living in a family's Long attic. Island. Yeah, actually, oh, he was. Yeah. Really? And he had inflatable furniture. <laughs> he's, a, he's a cartoon, and he was talking about inventing shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, could you and, imagine? And um, the I sleep on air. Yeah, now. and then oh. when he came back when I was twelve. Since you, but since when you did he? Know. When did he leave? How old were you when you? I left? was. Uh, Hold on, my mother was pregnant with the I was actually brother. thinking of renting I was six. Uh, in Long Island. Six, but hey, hold up now. Did you say my mother was pregnant? Uh, so you, with my youngest you, brother, yeah. So she was pregnant, and then your dad like, left. Yeah, my dad was ah, not ah. another one of these fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I thought I was and fucking done. Dad always thinks he's right no matter what. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I want to meet this man. Yeah, of course. He's a... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, he's and he, can't, he, can't, he drives a Hummer. Bro, guy. he can't even shut up for 30 se- seconds to take a breath. Bro, he won't even take a breath. Well, he I like I asked, up. does he hang, have a regular hang? He must have a regular He doesn't bar. have a regular no, hang. No, he doesn't. Really? He's a bunker guy. He hangs out at his home off-site. At his house. And, yeah, he, off-site? Yeah, he's far. He's in the wilderness. Oh, he lives up uh, north. He's scared of the zombie uh, apocalypse. Is he online? He's not wrong. He... It's not wrong. No, he's not online. Well, with what's been happening lately, I so mean. So where does he get <laughs> his <laughs> genius <laughs> information? I don't know. He what goes online, about? goes to any website, and then mix and mashes. Okay, yeah. so but he doesn't have a handle or anything. But he's, he's no, he doesn't have a handle. No, he no, just no. Go he online. He he'll see. He'll see. I don't know. Fire somewhere, and then he'll see coronavirus, and be like, the coronavirus is causing fires. Like he just makes up his own fucking shit. He's crazy. But oh, I want to tell you guys because because you guys have your podcast. This is our time to shine. The next couple of months, Hollywood is shut down because yeah. right. uh, they can't produce anything. It's time for podcasts to shine now. We're yeah. I make well, yeah, because all kinds of shows. That's what I was saying before. That's shows true. are canceled. So yeah, you're, people can't uh, go to movie theaters anymore yeah, either. Your 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 best friend with the hair and the magic trick. He he called me today. For the fat like, Jewish. No, my friend <laughs> Giuseppe. <laughs> oh, we're not best friends. He he said uh, he said um, uh, we should do a show. Like he in his head, he wants to do a stand up show, and we stream it live on. I'm like, bro, podcast, bro. Why would I yes, stream no, no, a stand-up that's show I mean. with I no tra- audience? I was trying to tell him that. But, uh, yeah, because you're supposed to get the laughs, right? Yeah, we yeah. feed off laughs. That's it. That's that's what I was trying to tell him. I said, no, it's podcasting. Yeah, that's, that's exactly that's the argument about. I had with like, him. And then he, he wants to do it. Because he's thinking, no he's like, you're not going to hear this. I and see I, what you're saying about them not laughing, but you know what else they're not going to do? Boo me. <laughs> uh-huh. but, but you're I absolutely have, right. No, people are going to stay in and watch. But sometimes people like, come up with a, a thing and they don't realize there's already a thing. I remember my friend uh, was like, bro, but we need to figure out a new way to make money. Like, we got to figure out like... Uh, like a way where you like you get uh, things on people, and then you tell them, "Listen, if you don't fucking uh, give us money, <laughs> we're gonna tell people." I'm like, I go, yeah, the it's extortion? called blackmail. I go, it's called blackmail. I go, you're, you're describing blackmail. Yeah, right? It already exists. Yeah. He goes, no, not the blackmail, bro. Where you get yeah. information about people, and you go, if you don't give us money, we're going to release this information. I'm like, yeah, yeah it's called blackmail, bro. That's fucking blackmail. You described blackmail. <laughs> have you seen that website where it? Um, I have to really fucking piss. You know the website you know that, where it is. Um, is that just around the corner? Yeah, yeah, just ring the doorbell. You know the website oh, where the it, uh, like people Unless break you put up. A, you put up a tufle. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, why did I say that like that? By the way, Anthony. Why did I say that like that? Did you hear what I said? Anthony DePaulo is there. Uh, our friend Anthony. Hey, Anthony. He's a DJ. What's that website where like you break up with a girl and you want to tell the world that she's a whore? So you Facebook. Uh, <laughs> no, there's a website. Talking to a mic, bro. 
Oh my god. Start but talk, dude, you do it. You don't you're hear You're not talking into the mic. No, look, okay. listen to me. You're not talking. I, okay. This is the fucking mic. That's how these things work. It's not I don't magic. Know, I, but I'm not doing it on purpose. You speak into the microphone. So it's a website. I don't know why it's not coming to me, but it's a website where people. Uh, it's it's exactly that. Youporn.com slash trans. The, 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 everybody who's a piece of shit in town, I want to let everybody know who this, you know, stay away Exposed. from this Exposed.com, whatever. Where they expose people. Yeah, it doesn't, but it doesn't matter the name of the website. Yeah. Anyways, keep going. No, but that's it. My, and, and I, what was the story? It was, I have a buddy of mine that's on it, and I was shocked how many people he screwed over in Ottawa. Uh, I wish I knew it, but it doesn't matter. Anthony, what's up? <laughs> what up? I get it. Uh, yeah? I get it where you get mad at me. Yeah? I get it. You I see finally it in him? get it. Uh, don't I wanted to strangle him right now. Yeah, I told oh, you. Well, you. Yeah, I wanted to strangle him. I want to strangle him and throw him off you. the window. Thank you for understanding <laughs> me, for understanding my pain. <laughs> let's, let's, um, um, so uh, you say that you're not gonna, you're not gonna travel, but knowing you, and I don't want you to die or anything, but knowing the buffoon that you are, <laughs> you're likely to go into any area that's infested with any virus because you're like, bro, I got booked on a show. No, no, I got a cheaper rate if I go through Hong Kong, though. I have an eight-hour layover in Hong Kong. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't do any of that. Why? No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, no, you, you should. On, damn, uh, honestly, Did I show you the butcher shop uh, video? I don't, what was it? I, uh, w- when I was in Australia last year, I actually had a long layover in Hong Kong, and it was an outdoor market. And it was yeah, this but- is how these markets are. It was a butcher. I actually have footage of this. It's a butcher shop. It's hot. It's 32 degrees outside, and there's no refrigeration. And this guy's cutting up a cow, and I'm gagging because I'm, I'm smelling the heat blood. And yeah, he's yeah. chopping a cow right there and yeah, hanging that's it. That's how like, it is. And I literally gagged. You want to go open for mass? Yeah, he locked yeah. himself out. Um, I can't. Honestly, dude, I can't do that anymore. Like I used to talk about it, how there's certain places I don't want to visit. Because I'm nervous about um, catching something, and these kind of like wet markets, everything I've seen this week that I learned about, all my fears were correct. Like you, there's certain stuff if it's not sanitized properly, if it's just a bunch of animals shitting on each other, eating shell, like you, you're asking for trouble. It's not racist though. Well, that, but you know what? Until now, everybody was saying that if you like the blocks before, they were racist. Now they're like, oh, we gotta stay safe. Yeah, you you no. gotta you gotta call a spade a spade. In Hong when, Kong, there's two types: Gucci, Armani, Chanel, poverty. I'm not saying poor people are bad. No, no, but the, 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 it's, it's like I'm super clean. I'm saying all this shit, wet markets, yeah. all this stuff where bro, I it's... Ca- not up to code at all. I gagged, bro. Nothing is up gagged. to code. And um, uh, we, were, we had an eight-hour layover. It lasted three hours. Went to the airport, ate pizza in the airport. Then you have one egg roll. In Hong Kong. Remember the outdoor market with the... Well, oh, you were there. That's because no, I, I saw the videos. Yeah. They'll starve to death, no? They'll, they'll eat crickets, spiders, you well, name it. Well, yeah, but look, the, so the government had two choices. The government could have... First of all... Created an industry or helped them create an industry that's uh, viable, like let's say with vegetation, shit like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. No, they left them to their own devices and figured out, let's see if you guys could produce something. And they produced this shit. And then they had to survive. It's the only way to survive. No. Mm-hmm. And then the government's like, okay, now we're going to regulate it. Now we're going to make it part of our economy since you guys are making money off it. You fucking assholes. Don't they, don't, don't they want to filter themselves out because they're too overpopulated? Well, no, if it was like that, they would have not let them do any of this and let them all starve to death. They don't want that. Yeah. It's just because they, they like having the communism, you need to have these mindless guys, workers. That's what you, they are. Are you guys, Assembly uh, workers. Are you guys talking about mimes or something? What's going on? Uh, we're <laughs> talking about just the wet mar- the, the the mime. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, I was trying mimes? to. I was trying Marcel to, Marceau? Uh, yeah, I was just trying to think of like a profession that's. Uh, like dying, I was like mimes. Yeah, mimes that's are how dying. You, that's how you. They get, might make a comeback that's how you now. Get the, actually, the kids with ah, the mime because he can't touch. That's smart. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, he's smart. Yeah, they're wearing a fucking. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. Hey, fucking smart. What's that? Well, What's that? have you seen this um, on uh, Got Talent? There, the guy with the, his his name is Tape Boy. He oh, remember sounds this comedian? Sexual. Yeah, I've seen the uh, clips. Uh, sounds he, like he a, brought it back to the one? 2019 uh, doing mime shit. But yeah, in, to, yeah. yeah. I think I watched. 20 yeah. seconds yeah, of like he this got thing applause all. they loved yeah, him it's not he, for you he's got scotch yeah, mimes, mimes, uh, but it's it's that shit he's trying to make a comeback a mime, mime. Yeah. So I don't like people that like how about vaudeville vaudeville see yeah I don't like you know mimes like that that not me. oh yeah <laughs> alright well uh, I hate <laughs> I hate to kill the podcast however the grocery store is going to close at 10 so I got to get some groceries right. um, I'd like to thank everybody that showed up for it live it's going to be yeah. up everywhere on Monday audio, audio and all that stuff hopefully so y'all enjoyed Patreon's it I love you all um 
What are we doing now? Me and they Mike, don't. They don't, though. I want you guys to know that me and Mike uh, fought as hard as we could to try to save some shows, but yeah. we couldn't. You know, legally, we can't. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to fuck people. So right. just know that we're working on all like online content. So, for example, right. Two Drink Minimum, we're going to get that episode tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to go live or not, but Akash Singh is definitely going to be a fun guest. So you guys are going to get that. Massimo, I see that you already started producing quarantine content yes. online on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Quarantine day two we're at <laughs> yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, tomorrow, day three, uh, obviously. Well, you know how to count. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you... I'm uh, going to be debt free as of next week, so that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's a big deal. That's, a that's big deal. amazing. So Congratulations. Imagine he, Still that's when he debt. gets. Oh, and homeless, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Guido and Massimo, both of their social links are in the description right now. Follow both of these guys. Uh, in case you don't know, I yes, was on please. one of their podcasts. The podcast is called the Southern Boys Podcast, and it's these two. Uh, it's a lot of fun with Guido and Massimo. Um, Massimo yells at me the way you do. Yeah, because yeah. Massimo knows how to use a microphone, <laughs> talk to the public. He's got all these skills that yeah. a stand-up comedian should fucking have already. <laughs> uh, I'm already losing my voice. Uh, I, I fought the sickness just to come in here. Uh, hopefully the blood... Imagine the blood test come back like you have crazy corona. You have corona AIDS. Yo! Bro. You know you could get AIDS twice or you could get HIV twice? How? What? Apparently you can get infected mm, no. twice. Yeah. But safe for me is uh, I don't do heroin and I never fucked through in the ass. So, I mean, unless they... they what about last weekend? No, if you uh, apparently you get it more if you're the fucky. Bro. You get the first fuck of all, <laughs> if my dick could get past those cheeks, I'd be so impressed. <laughs> Did you want to call? Uh, I would need a 57 inch penis, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to find out if there's special rates on the. Uh, I, I haven't checked. I've been yeah. too nervous to check. I to like how honest. you guys are pretending like you haven't checked the prices no, for sex but, workers. But you know why? You know what? Hold on. I haven't checked, and nor do I know where to go check. You know why? You know. You know why I'm too nervous to check? Because <laughs> you're gonna go. No, because I'm I, I I'm I'm so nervous that, that that I'll see such good prices and I'm like, yeah, you're gonna go. Yeah, I'm you're gonna see a place like I only have the apartment for a couple more days, bro. You know what I mean? I only have the apartment for a couple more days. This guy wants to have a Corona orgy. Yeah. Oh, you only have it for a couple more days? I think oh, I, yeah. we should do yeah. like a crazy cook party there. So, Guido and Massimo, they might invite you <laughs> to their party if you follow them on uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, so, go check out the social links. Poseidon, you could find them on Instagram and Twitter at the Poseidon 69 See, um, And also a whorehouse. <laughs> at, a, at, a board, at a bordello near you. Um, uh, Patreon.com slash Pantels for my Patreon. Two drink minimum. Every uh, Wednesday is a new episode. We go live on Tuesdays. You can watch us tape it. So that's fun. So uh, thank you all for coming. And you guys got any closing statements? I love the world. Love. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for listening. I don't know why that hit me like that.